previously on the Spitzer Space Telescope. Spitzer has almost run out of cryogen. You're the only one that can help us now. You mean the Spitzer Space Telescope? Part of NASA's great observatories program with Hubble and Chandra? That's right, Dr. Sean Astin. Spitzer is the one that looks at the universe in infrared. Infrared is basically heat. So for Spitzer to work, it's got to have very little heat of its own. Which is why Spitzer uses cryogen to cool its instruments down. If Spitzer runs out of cryogen. Then its instruments will start to fail. Listen, Betty White, this is Dr. Sean Astin you're talking to, and I want an answer right now. There's just no way around it, Sean. As the telescope warms up, two of its instruments, called MIPS and the infrared spectrograph, won't be able to see anything. Well, I won't believe that. It's begun. I'm afraid this is the end of an era for the Spitzer Space Telescope. And anyone who thinks differently is just dead wrong. Well, if one Sean Astin can't solve this problem, maybe two can. I'm Dr. Sean Astin from the future, and I'm here to warn you not to use that device. Well, if I destroy it, you'll never exist. It's the only way. You can't just let Spitzer die. I mean, it was the first telescope to ever detect light directly from a planet outside our solar system. It spots asteroids that might impact the Earth. It finds galaxies, star-forming regions. Get a hold of yourself. This is no time to panic. All those beautiful pictures that Spitzer has taken. It would be a real shame if we didn't get any more. I use my screensaver. And what will happen to that delightful pet project of yours to measure the rate of the universe's expansion? Why is this happening on my birthday? The mystic sphere of Galvonium could magically keep Spitzer cool for eons if it could reach the telescope. We can't reach it. It's in an Earth trailing orbit about 66 million miles away. Ah, close the airlock! Ah. The death station has cleared the planet. I'm going to text message you a hug. My phone doesn't get text messages! And now, part two. So, you're saying that Spitzer can actually keep doing great science without cryogen? That's right. It seems that two channels of one of its instruments will operate perfectly, which means that it can continue to detect asteroids, it can analyze the atmospheres of extrasolar planets, it can search for galaxies at the edge of the universe, and it can even do that pet project of ours to measure the rate of the universe's expansion. That's great. Yep, and on top of that, it can still take pretty pictures like this one. Sounds like we can get a lot of great Spitzer infrared science for years to come. Infrared? More like infrared to find more discoveries, huh? <laughs> <laughs> now get your feet off my desk. In August 2003, NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope was launched into space. In 2009, almost six years later, Spitzer ran out of cryogen and officially entered its warm mission phase. Spitzer continues to operate and provide unique science to the astronomical community. Next time on the Spitzer Space Telescope. So you want to go hit that barbecue place for lunch? Hmm, I heard they went out of business. Thank you.